In this video, we are going to cover basic metadata usage inside of Next.js application that you can implement in five minutes for a better SEO optimization. And I'm going to show you in real code examples on my org dev project and explain you the purpose of each metadata variable. So I'll open the layout file where we have our metadata that is used for our landing page. Important thing to know before going into each of these options is that we can set metadata for each page. So here you can see the metadata that I'm using for my landing page. But if we go to our snake game, for example, here on our page, we can see that we have totally different variables used for this page. Putting metadata on each page is not mandatory and if we don't create it, the main metadata from our layout is going to be used. And we can start with the variables. So the first one is the title. This one is really helping the SEO optimization. So search engine is checking the title first and it's important to have here some keywords. For me, for example, it's org dev. And this title is also visible in your browser tab. So you can see here in my browser that that same title is displayed and it's going to be displayed also as a search engine result. So here we can see that when we search for org dev, the first thing is the title from our metadata. The title is really important because it's the most visible thing when somebody is searching for a website. So make sure that it looks good. Second option we have is the description. Also same like title, it is really important for the search engine and for search engine results. So here we should also include a lot of keywords that we want when somebody is searching for our website. And same like your title, search engine is going to pick up your description and put it here below the title when somebody is searching for a website. Uh, but from some reason here I have my old description because this new one is not picked up yet. So the description should include relevant keywords and in the same time it should be engaging. So when somebody reads this one, he actually clicks the link. The third option is the metadata base. As you can see here, I'm using next public app URL, which is orgdev.com on my production. And the only thing it is used for are these OG images or canonical links to make them from relative to absolute paths. So here, if we would put HTTPS and then orgdev.com, in that case, we could delete this metadata base. This option is used in rare cases when you have different domains, for example, production versus staging, or in case that this next public app URL is dynamic, so you have to pull your images from some different sources. And final fourth is the open graph image. So here we are putting our image that is going to be used when we are sharing our website link. And if we check this image, orgdev.png, we can see that it is this image. And if I go to my Viber and I shared this link with myself in my notes, we can see that that same image is used when we share our link. OG image is really important because it's giving that first impression when you're sharing your link somewhere, whether it's X, Facebook or wherever, this one is going to be used when you are actually sharing your link. You also have an option to create dynamic metadata and it's really easy. So here, before actually rendering our page, we are generating the metadata and we are able to call whatever we want from our database and we can put dynamic titles, descriptions, images and whatever we want from our database. Awesome thing is that this is a server component and everything is server side rendered. So this one is actually working like normal static metadata and that's what makes it so powerful. So we can create dynamic metadata and that one is going to be served well for the search engine. I really hope that you enjoyed in this video and that you learned something new and for more content like this, join the mighty horde, subscribe.